Today, you're one of the CEOs actually having lunch at the Elysee with President Macron, uh, with other CEOs, including Elon Musk, including the Coca-Cola CEO, the Airbnb CEO. That means everyone is here. It's big business. Everyone is coming to Paris for the Olympics. So, of course, uh, it's a unique opportunity to meet. Uh, I think uh, as CEOs and uh, sponsors of the Olympics, we are used to, to discussing, but uh, everyone wants to have fun and celebrate the Olympics. So that's the spirit. We've obviously had one month of political uncertainty, a pretty bad mood right here in Paris. Uh, is that over now? Are we going to see a boost on the morale, a boost on uh, uh, economic activity uh, over the next few weeks? Well, what I can tell you is that the mood currently is really excitement. I mean, the Paris is getting ready to welcome the world. At Orange, of course, we are very proud to be the uh, unique telecom sponsor of the, uh, and technology partner of the Olympics. So the city is getting ready. We are now one day before the opening ceremony. So it's really excitement. We're not anymore in the bad mood or whatever. Everyone wants to talk about sports, the Olympics. As a unique telecom uh, sponsor, you're obviously in charge of technology, including during this Olympic ceremony, which is for the first time not going to be held in a stadium, but it's going to be moving along the Seine within the city. How difficult is that going to be in terms of technology to broadcast this Olympic ceremony to at least one billion viewers, given you're going to have like boats moving with athletes on the river? That's correct. We are the unique telecom sponsor. And if you think about it, in Tokyo, there was five telecom operators. So we have a huge responsibility. But of course, we are getting ready. And within, the, I mean, just to, to realize, the Olympics is a huge event in itself. It's the equivalent of 48 football cups, worldwide cups. And, um, and uh, uh, we are getting ready. And of course, the opening ceremony itself is a challenge within the challenge. So, so we are getting ready. We've deployed the latest technology, of course, fiber. Just for the opening ceremony, it's 500 kilometers of fiber that we've rolled, rolled out and deployed. We will use the latest 5G technology, including body cams. So we will have body cams on the boat. We will have also body cams for kite surfers. In the, in, the, in the marina of Marseille. So we will have HD videos close to where the event is happening. And of course, the, the opening ceremony is on six kilometers, more than 100 boats to connect thousands, actually hundreds of thousands of uh, uh, fans and spectators uh, and the organizers so, so, and, and media who will broadcast. And so we have a huge responsibility but that's what we love to do, and it's a unique opportunity for us to demonstrate the, the know-how of a telecom operator. Huge responsibility, of course. Atos, uh, the troubled IT company, a French IT company, is in charge of cybersecurity, but obviously working with you as a telecom operator. Are you concerned about cyber attacks during the games? As a telecom operator, cyber attacks is unfortunately our day-to-day. -day. We are always obsessed and protecting our networks. So, of course, we will do that as part of our job, I would say, for the Olympics and working hand-in-hand -hand with all the technology providers. So, of course, during the Olympics, but I would say not more during the Olympics than what we do already every day to protect our customers. You reported your earnings uh, yesterday, a pretty good set of earnings, uh, with uh, uh, this idea of your resistance, resisting uh, uh, price pressures from rivals. What's your outlook for the second half of the year? So indeed, we had good H1 results, and uh, we've uh, guided and we've reconfirmed our full, uh, fully reconfirmed our guidance for the year. Uh, so the, a lot of attention on the French market, but the telecom markets in Europe are highly competitive indeed. But we are driving our strategy, our lead the future plan, and of course, focusing on value creation for customers and being competitive in every market, of course. Uh, you've also expanded in Spain recently. Uh, where are you looking to expand next? So we are in Europe, we are in Africa, we are in B2B, we are in B2C. We are very focused on delivering the Olympics. And we will showcase, by the way, some, uh, some use cases and technology that we will embark then later on for other events, but also for our B2B customers. 
and uh, of course no detail on any M&A plan as you would expect. I want to end this interview on the fact that you're one of the very few female CEOs in the CAC 40. You're a female leader. We're here one day before the Olympics. How important is sports uh, to empower girls, to empower women uh, in order to become later perhaps a female executive? Well, I think at Orange we're convinced, but this is true for every leader. We're convinced, and the Olympics, by the way's mission, is also to make sure that sports is part of everyone's life. And so personally, I can talk for myself, I'm going to run 10K because Orange is a sponsor of the Marathon pour tous during the Olympics, the unique event that's open to any I mean, we, you, don't, you don't need to be a professional runner to attend this event, and I will do a 10K, but, but I think beyond that, just walking to the office instead of uh, taking the metro or the car, that's also things we're trying to promote, and that's just a way of, I mean, it's well-being, and I think we all need that.